Hi, this is uh, Martin Flink. I just uh, wanted to uh, do a very quick tutorial on uh, how to get started with a J Wildfire. Once you get the zip file from Andreas's website, from his blog, unzip it. What you'll end up with is something looking a bit like this. Create a folder somewhere on whatever drive you want to be working on. In my case, I've actually put it, put it under the program files, where you keep all your stuff, generally speaking. Um, in a Windows environment and I've just created a folder here called jwildfire um, minus or hyphen 0 0.42 and in there I copied all the stuff that was unzipped. The next step you want you, you want to be performing here so that you can get access to uh, jwildfire on a regular basis is create some sort of shortcut to the startup of the actual program and right clicking on start.bat and then dropping it off onto the desktop. Or, in my case, I go into the lib folder, then right click on the jwildfire actual uh, jar file. That's the way I found works for me. In my case, the bat file doesn't start it. Right click and drag with the control key down. And then we have create shortcuts here as the bottom option here when I just let go of the right mouse button. Select that and there you have it. Once you've created your shortcut on your desktop somewhere, just double click on it to fire up JWildfire.